a humoral response begins when a B lymphocyte encounters an antigen which binds the antibody receptors on the B lymphocyte's membrane. The antigen is then taken into the cell through receptor-mediated endocytosis, and the B lymphocyte divides to form a memory cell and a plasma cell. Plasma cells live a few days and can produce an incredible number of antibodies, perhaps 2,000 per second. The memory cells persist in lymph nodes in the spleen for years or even decades. If the antigen is encountered a second time, additional plasma cells are produced. The secondary response is much faster than the primary response. Far more antibodies are produced. The antibody titer is far greater. And these can even be a different class of antibodies, say IgG as opposed to IgM. These antibodies might even bind more specifically to the antigen. Thus, the adaptive immune response changes with experience. He is responding far more efficiently to this microbe than I am because this is his second exposure and he has all these memory cells. I will have to go through my primary exposure before I am capable of such an efficient secondary response. This is why vaccinations are so important because if an infant is exposed to a form of the antigen that can't cause infection, then the individual's first encounter with the real microbe will elicit this secondary response with its much shorter lag time and its much higher antibody titer. And so vaccinations improve the subsequent immune reactions when the real microbe is actually encountered because of all the memory cells that are formed after the primary exposure.